Hello and welcome to the uh, next installment of uh, GIS 225 where we will be joining an Excel file well, or several Excel files to an, to an attribute uh, to the attribute data of a, a shapefile type layer. The Excel file contains data that's not in the attribute table layer and instead of going and taking the time to edit the attribute table we'll just do a simpler method of joining the attribute table to the Excel file through a common field and the shapefile layer we're going to use is a uh, is a uh, state view of Ghana. Ghana is in West Africa and it's uh, divided into 10 states or regions and it had elections in 2008, 12, and 16 and there's also some statistical data about the country and we'll try to see if any of the uh, statistical data had an influence on the elections. So let's load the uh, the uh, Ghana Ghana layer. It's a vector layer, and go into the vector and shape file. So there's the map of Ghana. Let's open the attribute table, and all the attribute table contains is the region or the state names, and we can label the. Uh, map with the region names by going to the labels field and click OK. So there are, this, so there are the uh, individual region names and let's add the 2008 elections um, Excel file And that's done through the uh, vector layer addition again. Obviously, the Excel file is not not a, a vector layer, but it still works. And here are the 2008 presidential results. I made a copy of them. And let's open that up using the uh, same method, you opening the attribute table. So there are the results, there are the region names, and there are the uh, candidates and the uh, number of votes they received. And you can see that there are only two candidates that actually had any chance. So in order to simplify this table, we'll delete most of the uh, the other candidates, the two candidates are Akufo Ado and Adam Mills. And we can delete the rest of the uh, candidates by clicking on the uh, edit icon, that's the pencil. And then selecting one of the, uh, fi one of the uh, fields and clicking the uh, delete field icon. So the ones that we want to delete are Mahama and pretty much the arrest after after Mills. So these are the only two candidates that had any chance and let's create a new field called the winner. It's going to be a text type field. Yeah, let's make it 10 long, that is 10 letters can fit in there. And populate it with the uh, name of the winner for each region. So that's going to be Otto. Oh no, that's actually Mills. That's Otto. Mills Otto Mills 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 
Wheels. And it's Auto One Western. And Mills won the, the National, but we're not going to be worried about that right now. And let's open the attribute layer or the attribute table of the layer. And you can see that the uh, there's a difference in the uh, way that the uh, regions are spelled. That is the uh, in the Excel file, the region names are all uppercase letters. And in the attribute table, only the beginning letters are uppercase. So in order to join these two tables, the spelling has to be exactly the same. That is, the, uh, these, the spelling of these uh, regions will have to match the uh, spelling of, uh, of the uh, attribute table layer or the uh, attribute table of the layer. So this has to be changed to Ashanti Rome Ahafu Central Eastern and Greater Accra has to be actually spelled out. Northern and Western and save the edits by clicking the uh, pencil icon to stop the editing and save your edits. So now the spelling is exactly the same. Greater Accra. And we can join these two together. So let's open the attribute table for the uh, for the layer. Or uh, open the uh, proper layer properties, and click on the joins icon, and we're going to join with the plus the green plus button. We're going to join the Ghana 2008 presidential results Excel file using the region field to the region field in the in the attribute table and apply it and let's open up the attribute table now and you can see that the uh, join worked that is for each region now we have the winner in the, in the attribute table So let's change the uh, let's change the uh, layer coloring to reflect uh, who, who won, which candidate won each region. So we're going to go into the style, and instead of the single symbol, select categorized based on the winner column. And let's just use any random color and then click classify. And we have the two colors for one for auto and one for mills. And click OK. And it actually classified it based on who won each region. So let's open up the uh, layout viewer and create a new layout. And we will be adding several more maps to the layout. So 
So let's add our initial map right there. And this is going to be our first map. So now we can move the uh, layout over and start on our second map, which will be the uh, 2012 elections. And we can add we can add a, a new data frame, or basically a new group of maps. So that, uh, so that different maps can be compared in the same window. And that can be done by clicking on an empty uh, area in the Layers panel and Add Group. And let's just call it Group 1. And let's turn off the previous map and re-add the Ghana map. This time making sure that it goes into a new uh, data frame or a new group. And browse to, my, browse to the uh, Ghana map. So there's a new Ghana map and let's add the uh, 2012 elections. 2000, or it is 2012 copy. And you can see we've got the same problem again, or the same setup again, not a problem. This time it was, again, two candidates who had any chance of winning. That was Mahama. And again, Otto, Mills, and Mahama were of the same party. So let's do the same thing as before. Delete some of the fields. Add a new column called winner. It's a text, text type and 10 characters long. And fill in the winner again. Auto. That is Mahama. Mahama. Auto. Mahama. And again, change the spelling. stop the editing and join this to our new map the join layer is the 2012 
Oh, that's a gun. Oh, the join layer is the 2012 map or the 2012 Excel file using the region field. And let's open up the attribute table. And there it is. And let's use the uh, same colors as before. Let's shred, so uh, let's see, that's purple and brown. Otto was brown and Mills was purple. Otto was brown and Mills was purple. categorized oh forgot to choose the winner layer or the winner field and let's try to select the brown color again Let's see, maybe right there. And this should be purple or purplish. Otto is brown, that's purple, that's pretty close. And there's our new map. And let's label the regions again. And let's go back to our layout view. And add a new map, add our current map. And now we've got two maps side by side. So now let's go back and do the same thing with the uh, 2012 election. And create a new group. Add the Ghana layer. And add the uh, 2016 elections results. So it's the same setup again. Mahama and Otto, and this time finally Otto won. Oh, I should have done that. So I need to delete field four, five, six, seven, and eight. Deleted too many fields. Text. And 
let's see who won Ashanti. Looks like Otto came through pretty strong this time. No, except in Volta. And do the join again. This time to the 2016 elections using using the region field, well that's field one in this case. And there we go, it actually worked. It looks like if we open the attribute table, uh, there's no region identifier, just field one. But field one is the actual reason regions. And let's categorize it again. Based on the uh, winner field. Auto should be brownish. Try that. Uh, it's a little too black, a little too dark. There we go. And that should be purplish. Otto is brown and Mahama is purplish, so that's good. And let's go back to the layout and add that third math. Oh. zoomed out for some reason. Try to make the maps about equal size. Yeah, that purple didn't work out, but that's close enough, I guess. So now let's bring in the uh, Ghana statistics table. So add a new group. Let's see where that maybe it's in another
All right, here it is. Go on to statistics. And let's try to do the HIV cases. Or and you can select any one of them if you like. Let's open the attribute table. The spelling looks like it's correct already. And this is the HIV prevalence by region and percent. So field two is the 2011 data. And let's try to use that. That seems to be pretty current. Or the, or the uh, most current. So we don't even have to change the spelling. HIV cases using Oh, which one was it? Field one. Field one is the region. Field one. And let's open up the attribute table. And it actually worked. So this is called field two now. That's the uh, 2011 data. So let's try to categorize categorize that. And this time let's use the uh, graduated colors. So that it, so that there's a gradual color change from a lighter color to a darker color with with the uh, with the uh, Darkness representing the change in the uh, percentage values. Let's use the uh, blues field. And looks like it doesn't show up, so let's use check on the. Oh, which column? I forgot the field two. No wonder they're not showing up. And click the classify button and click OK and you can see the uh, the uh, darkness values correlate to the uh, or the uh, darkness of the shade correlates to the uh, percentage of HIV prevalence. Lower values have a, a lighter color. And yeah, let's see. Let's add that. And let's do one more one more map. Now yeah, let's add the uh, statistics.
And then this time, I'll select child mortality. Uh, something didn't go right here. Let's try that again. There we go. It, would sh it didn't show up in the group four. Let's join it. With the child mortality. That's yeah, in the uh, field one. Click OK. Field 1 contains the area names, the field 2 contains the infant mortality rate per 100,000. And let's categorize this with some ran random color ramp this time. This should be the child mortality field two. And there you go, the colors are based on the uh, child mortality rate. Let's try to find the legend items. Oh, okay. Zero. Zero, so let's try to Let's add a legend.
there we go legend and for group one Uncheck the uncheck the auto update, and we can remove this. That's the HIV. That's okay. And there we have all the uh, legends that we need for the elections. Remove. Didn't want to delete that. And add another legend. And remove everything for the everything but the child mortality. And 
add one more legend. 40 HIV cases. Let's hide some of the text, right clicking, right clicking on, uh, right clicking on it and clicking on hidden. And on this one too. There we go, that looks a little bit better. And finally, add a label as to describing any correlation that you found between the statistics and the uh, elections results. Like for example, you can you can uh, add a few t few a few sentences whether you think the st statistics have any relation to one high, to one a certain state like the higher HIV areas seem to be went for auto in 2016 convert it to a PDF and then submit it 